Ah, Vanessa. I was just going to give you a ring. I, I hit a snag in Chapter 3. Well, forget Chapter 3, because you almost blew our deal right off the, the book stalls. Well, excuse me? Thanks to you. Erica's lawyer and his Looney Tune wives now know that we are writing this little expose. Hey, look, I never met Erica's lawyer or his wife. <laughs> well, Trevor and Janet Dillon. We're right here snooping under your very nose, my dear. No, 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 no. Aside from uh, the maid and room service, my only visitors have been you and this very sleazy agent, uh, what's his name, Sarno, Johnny Sarno, <laughs> and his assistant, Venus. They want to sell the uh, screen rights to our book. That, for heaven's sakes, th th that was nothing more than a ruse to gain access to our manuscript, my dear. Well, you're kidding. That's impossible. I mean, they were crude. They were rude. It was th th totally holly weird. Yes, yes, and they went straight to Erica. So fortunately, I had you write up those dummy chapters, my loving tribute to Erica Kane. Oh, boy, did Erica buy it? <laughs> she lapped it up like cream. Hey, that's great. Then we are still in business. Yes. Yes, but I do not have the Queen's ear any longer because Erica kicked me out right onto the street. Ah. Not the first time that's happened, huh? Oh. Yeah, uh, look, darling, I've been doing my homework. Vanessa Sims. I think that's the name that uh, Dory Sherry gave you, wasn't it, during your contract years at MGM? Oh, God, did I say years? Because according to my sources, your rising star burned out rather quickly. How dare you? We all need insurance, don't we? And this is mine. You know, in the event that you're thinking of cutting me out of our little deal. <sighs> so now I suggest that we ought to get back to work, don't you think? Hmm? Chapter three? Mm. Well, to hell with chapter three. Our spotlight's gonna have a new direction. I think someone else needs to shine now. What are you waiting for, Donald? To your scratching pad. Who are we gonna disembowel now? Ah. Erica's dear friend, Janet Green. The crowbar killer. Vanessa Bennett is a menace to society. She's a piece of work, I'll give you that. You see it, I see it. What, is Erica blind? She needs her friends now. She's got her friends, me and Myrtle and Opal. And Vanessa manages to drive a wedge between each one of us, hinting that I was juggling the books at Enchantment. And the audit took care of that. Yeah, I know, but it made me look bad. I didn't win any points. Divide and conquer, that's Vanessa's plan. Well, she thinks on her feet, you know that. And she just happened to have a couple chapters of her book laying around. When I came to Pine Valley, I had no idea that the fabulous Erica Kane would not only invite me into her home, but her heart as well. Prose verging on purple. Unbelievable. Just wait till, till she reads the real book. Honey, the honey. The grand slam. Erica's gonna be devastated. Sit down and eat your cake. It'll calm you down. A cake will not calm. I can't eat, I can't sleep, and Vanessa's perfectly calm because she doesn't know who I am, what she's up against, and what she's dealing with. What is going on in that brain of yours? I just don't like it when someone I care about gets hurt. I get mad. And when I get mad, I get even. Hi, Rook. Just the woman I wanted to see. Haywood's disappearance has nothing to do with me. This says otherwise. What's that? It's a letter from David Hayward, dated April 23rd, 1999. Should you be somewhere searching for him instead of wasting our time? You need to hear this. If the police receive this letter, it means that I, David Hayward, am dead. The man responsible for my demise is Adam Chandler. I did not kill David Hayward. Would, would you mind? Do you mind? No, I'll check. How dare you come into my house? Are you making an accusation here, Derek? No, I'm not the one doing the accusing. My husband may be a lot of things, Lieutenant, but a murderer is not one of them. Just because you received a letter doesn't mean he's dead. No, well, we know that you're no saint. I was around when you staged your own kidnapping. Damn it! I did not kill David Hayward. I haven't seen the man in weeks. 
I hate him. That's very common knowledge. And several, on several occasions, I've wished him dead. But that doesn't make me a murderer. Then how do you explain this letter? It's probably um, a sick joke of David Hayward's. No, it's no joke. This letter was hand-delivered by Hayward's attorney. It also says here that Liza Colby will know why you took out Dr. Hayward. Oh, wait. I, I, I received a letter from Leslie Colson, uh, David Hayward's attorney. She, she dropped it by. Maybe that'll clear everything up. Janet, you know, we, we all know that Donald Steele has made his reputation writing trash and flash. That's why he has to be stopped. <laughs> there are other ways to stop him, all right? Erica could get an injunction. She has uh, Enchantment's entire legal staff at her disposal. She doesn't perceive the danger. Vanessa has dazzled her with a couple of chapters of this bogus bio she's cooking up. It makes Erica look like a cross between Joan of Arc and Mother Teresa. Well, okay, we all know that Donald Steele doesn't do saints. I mean, I can't tell you the number of years he's tried to get Tempo to write excerpts from his unauthorized biography. Erica could sue for slander when the book comes out. By then, the damage will be done. We sounded the warning. How many times? She... Erica's just is not listening. That's why I'm going to go see Donald Steele myself. I'm going to tell him that there will be consequences. If he publishes, he perishes. Okay, now listen to this. Uh -huh. All right, this vicious crime nearly, well, it did hit all the national headlines, but every talk show line was absolutely jammed. People were asking, why did this young man have to die like this in a pool of blood? Answer, Janet Green. You're kidding me. And this is the same woman who was standing right here in this hotel suite. <laughs> Your Venus is nothing more than the mistress of disguise. Do you know what she did? She took over her sister's life, and I mean that. Literally, she put Natalie right down a well. She had everyone in this town believing that she was her sister. Uh, but why, why, why did she do that? Why? Well, Janet had a thing for Trevor. <laughs> oh, man. He married her? Well, I mean, knowing what she did to his wife? Apparently, Trevor decided to let bygones be bygones. Golly, wasn't that sweet. But Janet, oh ho, oh ho, there's another story. You see, Janet hated her big sister so much because in grammar school, Janet... <laughs> Lost out to a big sister for the part of the Virgin Mary in the Christmas pageant. <laughs> ah! That's great. There's no grudge too small. No, no. One does not want to get in Janet Green's way. She will pay you back with interest. Ask Will Clooney. <laughs> Clooney, clear. That's the guy that, uh, what, the guy that got crowbarred, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, to be fair, he did a few nasty things to her niece, you know, and, well, she does ferociously care about those she loves. <laughs> What's she doing walking the streets? Well, it seems the prison decided to give her some sort of parole if she would be the guinea pig for some sort of cosmetic procedure. <laughs> You're kidding me. That's our crackerjack criminal system at work, huh? Yes. She does say she's reformed, however. But did I tell you she threatened me? You're kidding me. Did you call the police? No. Why bother? I've seen Jeff up close. When your number's up, it's up. Well, I, um, uh, I'm gonna grab something to eat, though. I think I've given you enough to get started on, actually. So I'll just check back with you later, all right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't blame a girl for trying. Vanessa, I am so ashamed of you. Oh, I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> Crowbar killer. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, the letter, the letter, the letter was just here, Erica. You saw it. Yes, you were about to read it, and, and then we got to talking. Right, and, and you took it from me. And I returned it right to that tray. Well, maybe it blew off when Erica opened the door. Well, uh, this is ridiculous. I, I don't see it. See what? Uh, the, a letter. I, I got a letter from the attorney for David Hayward. I didn't even get a chance to read it. More libelous ravings, no doubt. No, you can't sue anybody for telling the truth. Look, Derek, Adam's been trying to dig up dirt on David Hayward for weeks now. Stay out of this, Jake. And he, he asked me to help him. When I didn't, he had some private investigator trail me at the hospital. Wait a minute, you said that you called that guy I, off. I 
did call him off as soon as I got in touch with him. And, uh, darling, all I'm trying to do is keep Hayward no, out of I our understand. lives. Because he has something on you. And you're trying to figure out a way to shut him up. Don't, don't, don't make me the villain in this. And Hayward tried to kill me. Liza exposed him and saved your career, didn't she? Now, this, this, this ludicrous letter-writing campaign is, is designed to get back at us. Okay. Well, if you're right and Hayward is after you, then Colby isn't safe here. I know how to protect my own family. I don't Jane. want her living in a war zone. Eliza, I want you and Colby to stay with my parents until this whole well, mess is Wait a minute, wait a second. You're telling me that I need to leave Adam? Yes, this place is crazy right now. I don't want... I'm there's too much stress here, for you. I'm not Jake. I'm not. I'm getting married to Adam tomorrow. Not if he's going to jail, you're I'm not. Jake. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going, and neither is Colby or Liza. You're the one who suggested that we stay here because it would be helpful to Colby to be away from germs and viruses that, and everything. That's before he was involved in a murder. I'm not involved in a murder. I, for the last time, I did not kill David Hayward. Well, you must have done something to him because he's gunning for you right now. You should be grateful I've kept him at bay this long. Why should I be grateful to you for anything? What have you ever done for me? I gave you Colby. Oh, oh, visitation rights for my own daughter. Gee, what a, what a prince. Just stop it now, stop it, all of you. I have information that will settle this thing. Once and for all. Erica, what, what information could you possibly have? Information that will clear you as a murder suspect. I happen to know for a fact that David Hayward is alive. Have you, have you seen him? No, I haven't. <laughs> well, how do you know he's alive? Because I received a phone call from him this afternoon. <laughs> well, what exactly did he say? Dr. Hayward said that he needed to take some time off, that he needed to rethink his life. But he assured me that he would return in time for my next checkup. But that doesn't explain that letter. Well, what Adam said is true. David Hayward is not the kind of person who forgives and forgets. And he left town last year in shame, and he blames all of you. Well, Derek, David has accused Adam of, of killing him. I mean, isn't there something we can do? To make sure he doesn't do this again? I mean, press charges? Oh, no, I would not press charges. David is extremely dangerous when he is provoked. Go away! It's night, mate, sir. Here to turn down your bed. Yeah, that's all right, I'll take care of it myself. That's no way to treat a lady. Well, I, if it isn't uh, Venus, or should I say Janet Dillon? Oh, you can use any one of my aliases at random, but I prefer my maiden name. Yeah, I mean Janet Green, numbers cruncher by day, crowbar killer by night. Good, you're familiar with my work. Yes. I'm flattered. Yeah, I'm a true crime aficionado. <laughs> hey, maybe I could do a book about you, huh? I think you've already started. Let's see. A true sign of Erica Kane's diminished capacity is her relationship with convicted crowbar killer Janet Green. One can only imagine the small talk that passes between them. La Kane launching her comeback with a daring new look, gargoyle chic. While Miss Green promos crowbars with the no slip grip, signed and numbered. Look for her at your favorite home and gardening center. Or should I say, Look out. You know, you really haven't done me justice here. Yeah, well, this, this is just the first draft, you know. <laughs> Have you ever actually held a crowbar? Oh, geez, no. I, I don't think I've ever had the pleasure of doing that, no. No, they're very heavy, you see. You have to use your own body weight to counterbalance them. You know, most people think you just want to crack open someone's head, you come down with a whack. That's not true. There's technique involved. It involves lifting, turning, and following through. Lift, turn, follow through. You see, it, it's kind of a zen thing. You become one with your crowbar. You know what, if, if, if you'd be willing to tell me your story, we, we could collaborate. I mean, it'd, it'd be great. I get top billing. Oh, yeah, of course. 
We'd have to start right at once. Well, uh, the minute I finish uh, my manuscript over there, get it to my publisher, you know, I'm all yours. No, no, no. Trash the trash, or we have no deal. Well, all right, you know, I could probably, uh, you know, juggle a couple projects at the same time. That's, that's not a big deal. No, no, no. Drop the Erica book before I drop you! Well, uh, Derek, are you satisfied that no crime has been committed? David Hayward is lamentably, but unmistakably, alive. And he's got a lot of explaining to do. Did he tell you where he was calling from? No, I have no idea where David Hayward is, and I don't care. Look, Erica, why didn't you just tell me where Hayward, that Hayward was alive when I first walked in the door? Well, when I was married to Adam, I always liked to see him sweat. <laughs> So old habits die hard. <laughs> well, um, if you hear from him again, would you mind asking him to call the PVPD, please? I'm sorry to bother you folks. Adam. Well, I suppose that solves our daily murder mystery. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I could use a drink. <laughs> So that's it? The David's had his fun, so we resume our regular program. No, 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 no. That is not it. Since we have an impressionable young mind here, I think we should just stop all conversation when it comes to politics, religion, and David Hayward. He's annoying. I want him banished from our lives. Here, here. And thank you for bringing the dress by for Colby. No, oh, any excuse to see my beautiful daughter. You don't need an excuse. Mm -hmm. As long as I don't mention you know who. Mm, you got it. Mm. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Eric. Good night. I'm gonna go check on Colby. Well, aren't you going to thank me? For what? Letting me twist in the wind? Oh, you put the noose around your neck that day in the fertility clinic. So you keep reminding me. So you better be nice to me, Adam. Or I might just remember what happened to that letter from David Hayward. Oh, look what I found. You're gonna have to leave, all right? This is totally inappropriate. You haven't seen anything yet, honey. If you don't go, I'm gonna call the front desk. Really? Whoa! You wanna hear my terms now? Hey, look, you can work on the book, you know, with me, all right? You can you can take care of uh, Erica's issues. Are you issues. kidding you me? Is there some kind of glitch in your hard drive or something? What is your problem? There is no book. It's over. Finish. Delete it. Kaput. Listen to me, Janet. Look, I've already spent the advance, all right? Well, that would be your problem. I suggest you save your pennies and pay it back. And don't tell me that you can't get blood out of a turnip. Because I can get blood out of anything. Oh! Calm down, will you calm down? What are you, nuts or something? What's wrong with you? Hey, get in here, will you? Get out of here. Hey, 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 what, what's going on here? I told you I was going to take care of this myself. Sweetheart, give it up with a stick. The no, party's never, over. Never, never. Donald, help. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, and I'm fine. I had to hold her off till you got here. Uh, listen, <laughs> Janet doesn't mean any harm. It's just that she has these episodes. I I'm trust I, I can trust you to be discreet. That's it's my like middle name. And meanwhile, you'll figure out a way for me to get in bed with Tempo, right? Just as soon as I've changed the sheets. Meanwhile, everything that happens here today is off the record. Like, hey, Brooke, could you get real? All right, I got I got a fallen idol and a crowbar queen. I'm going to hit the bestseller list at number one. <laughs> Not if I hit you. No, 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 hey. no. Okay, he's joking. Germany. Tell her that you're joking. No, I'm just kidding. You know, I'm joking. You heard what you're saying. Get her. Come get on. I got her. I got her. No. Oh, Janet! Janet, come on, come on. Think of your family. Think of Amanda. Stop it! Oh, oh baby, 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 what did you do? She's dead. You killed her. And you didn't see a thing. No, no I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. No. 
down. I was going to... I'm, I'm saving my life. I mean, Janet Green strikes again. One down, one to go. <laughs> give me that. And what would you give me in exchange? My undying gratitude. Oh, please. You owe me a lot more than that for saving your callous hide. Do you know where Haywood is? Well, even if I did, I'm not sure I'd tell you. You two are in on this together, aren't you? I just saved your marriage. But you know what? It's not too late for me to change my mind. Oh, Liza! Look, I found David's letter. <laughs> Call me right away. So you still want to tell Liza that Adam is the father of her baby? You still want to blow this thing wide open? You live for it, don't you? David, you're consumed with thoughts of destruction. And why? I mean, you want to ruin them just to make them pay? Yes. For what, David? Just because they want up to you? Just because they, they beat you? Just because they have a little power over you like I did? David, take it from one who knows it is very unsatisfying, that kind of revenge. And if it's victory you're after, believe me, it's hollow. David, if you are there, pick up the phone. You can at least return my phone calls. I can do even better than that. 